Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel where I try to bring you a wide variety of computer do-it-yourself repair and upgrade videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the LCD screen in your Dell Chromebook 3100 computer. Before we get going guys, please remember to like the video if it does help you out. If you think anyone else can benefit, please share it with them. If you do need to leave me a question, check out the FAQs below in the description first. It could save you some time getting an answer as I do try to keep those updated. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please feel free. I try to check those a couple times a day at least. For those of you that want to support the channel a little further, there's a couple different ways you can do so. First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button. You can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app. Find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. Okay, now that that's out of the way, let's get into the project. Okay, so as you can see, my computer's laying on an anti-static pad. Um, either an anti-static pad or an anti-static bracelet are a really good idea to avoid harming components of the computer when you're getting into it. If you guys would like any suggestions on items that I use in my shop, any tools or supplies, I'll have a link up here to my Amazon store where you can see things that I've used that I think you'd like. On my Amazon store, there are several sections here. Repair tools is one of them. Uh, here you can find the common hand tools that I use along with things like anti-static mats and bracelets that help prevent you from damaging your computer. As you can see, there's three screws on this side, two screws on either side here, and then two screws in the middle. We're going to go through and take those out. Whenever taking screws out of a computer, uh, make sure you keep screws separate from each other. Not all screws are going to be the same size, uh, the same width or length. So you don't want to use motherboard screws in your bottom case or hard drive screws in your bottom case. So make sure you keep them separate from each other when you go back to put the screws in afterward. After these screws are all loosened, I'm going to take my small flat metal pry tool. I'm going to go along the seam of the bottom case and the palm rest and pry these apart from each other. Once that's loose, it comes right up. This is the inside of your computer. There's your battery. Before proceeding with any computer repair, you want to take your battery out first. The idea, just like we unplugged it, is you want as little power running through this computer as possible to avoid damaging things. So before you access anything else, remove your battery. It's held in by a screw here in the corner, here in the corner, here in the corner, and it's plugged in. You can see it actually says battery. Maybe your stickers are there as well, but the battery cable runs across and plugs into the motherboard right there. Okay, so the screws are out, and this is a very simple plug. To unplug, I'll zoom in a little for you. It's a white plug that plugs into the motherboard port right there. So I'm going to take my fingernails on either side of the white plug and pull them out straight out. And it comes out just like that. And now that cable's loose and you can take your battery out. As you lift your battery out, it was held down actually by this piece of tape there that I didn't notice. So just remove that tape and that'll come right off. And it's also held down by some double sided tape right there so you may hear some cracking and popping as you pull that off but that's just double-sided tape you're not breaking anything now the reason why we unplug or remove your battery in addition to unplugging your power adapter is because when you have any power running through a computer and you go to install and plug in a new lcd sometimes the lcd can short out so you can damage it and then you think that the lcd doesn't work or you don't know what's wrong with your computer so that's why we take out all power from the computer now to get at this LCD, we'll have to take off this plastic piece, which is called a bezel. We'll have to take that off. If you notice in this model, there's little circles in each of the four corners. These are hard pieces of plastic held on by double-sided tape that's covering or hiding screws that we need to take off. So I'm gonna take my small metal pry tool. You can also use a razor to gently go down and pick these things off just like that. It comes up very easily. Again, it's held on by double-sided tape and there's a screw underneath. Okay, so that's a pain in the butt process. Sometime it took me longer than it should have. I fast forwarded a lot of that. But now that I had those off, I can go around and take off these screws. 
Now that those screws are off, I'm gonna take my small metal pry tool, I'm gonna to go around the edge of the bezel and the top lid, and I'm gonna put it in between there and gently try to pry them apart from each other. Keep in mind though, there are wires running through here, especially up top near your webcam. Uh, you have that camera wire, you have an antenna wire sometimes up here, so don't push this too far in and start going like this because you could damage those wires. So go as little in as possible and just try to find some give. As I pry this off, you'll hear a, a ripping sound. This is held on by double-sided tape as well, if you can hear that. So just go slow, be careful, but you're, you're not breaking it. You're just unclipping those clips and you're removing the double-sided tape. So that bezel will snap off right there and the bezel comes out like that. And again, there's a lot of double-sided tape all the way around here. If you're replacing this bezel and you need to know a part number, you'll see a little white sticker here, DP-N, that's Dell part number. This one is 06C2J6. Uh, yours could be the same or it could be similar, uh, but that's where you would find a part number to replace this item. Okay, so now that you have your bezel off, you can see the hinge assembly goes here and here, and the LCD itself is held on by a little screw there and there, another one there and there. So I'm gonna go in and take those screws out now. Okay, now that those screws are out, your LCD should be free. Pick it up very gently. And I'll flip it over like this to show you how we're gonna unplug it now in order to get it out. Okay, so right here, that's your LCD cable that goes down through your left hand hinge assembly into your motherboard but it comes down here and plugs into your screen. This is a very delicate, very easily broken component uh, that I'm gonna show you how to take off. First of all, you'll notice there's a sticker that runs over the entire thing. We're gonna gently peel that sticker off. As a side point, guys, there's a little white sticker there. You should see it on yours. It has a Dell part number as well. That part number on this is written as 0V11RY. So that's my part number. Yours may be the same or it, it may be similar. The LCD itself, you'll see the Dell part number here, DP-N Dell part number. It's 0WCDNH. I'll have these below in the description. Um, again, yours may be similar, but it should look like that or it may even be the exact same number. So to get this sticker up, I'm gonna again use my small flat metal pry tool. I'm gonna start teasing it right in, in the corner and trying to get it up. Be very careful, go slow and be patient. Again, the LCD cable um, is easily broken. So go nice and slow, slower is always better. I'm gonna slowly peel this up. Okay, so that's mostly peeled up, that big flat sticker part but there's another clear sticker here under it that needs to come up too. They really seal it down in this model computer. Kind of a pain. So I'm gonna tease that plastic one as well, try to get that up as well. Okay, so I got a corner of it, nice and slow and patient. Slower is better. Nice and slow as I get close to the LCD cable, okay. So there, so I've pulled those up. As you can see, I'm not sure how well you can see it, but these stickers are holding the outside case of this ribbon cable together. So if you pull that too hard, you could rip those wires right out. It's a horrible design, but that's how a lot of them are made. And then I'm gonna take this blue piece up right like this. There. So the blue piece, the clear plastic, and that large sticker all needed to come up to get this horrible little LCD cable out. Turn this around so you can see it a little better. Now I'm not sure how well you can see it on yours, but there's a gold looking port on the LCD and there's a gold looking plug at the end of the wires that plug into each other. But there's also a very hard to see gold metal bar that comes out of your plug on one end, wraps around the port all the way around and plugs into the plug on the other end. That holds it in place after it's snapped in. So I'm gonna go down there with my metal, or I'm sorry, my plastic pry tool. Try to pop that clip up, which is kind of difficult. You know what? 
I'm gonna try my metal pry till it's thinner. There we go. So I, again, you may not be able to see it, but I've popped that metal bar up, and now I can grab a hold of each side, the left and the right, and slowly pull that out of the port like that. Very, very fragile, very easy to break this guy, so go nice and slow. If you have any questions, let me know. But that's how you would unplug it from your LCD. Another thing to remember guys when you're replacing your LCD, make sure you have the pin count correct. There's a 30 and a 40 pin uh, count for these LCD cables. This one is a 30 pin. If you don't know what it is, you can always use a magnifying glass and count the number of pins. Um, it'll either be 30 or 40. Also, in addition to the right kind of, of, or the right number of pins, make sure this port is in the right place. LCD cables are an exact size. It can't reach anywhere else on your motherboard. So you may find the right size screen with the right number of pins, but the port will be here, or the port will be here. Those won't work. You need the right size screen, the right number of pins, and the port in the right location when you're replacing this. So to plug this back in, we're gonna be equally as careful. We're gonna take that metal bar. Well, first of all, we're gonna take all the stickers, <laughs> all the stickers, peel them back out of the way, bring up that metal bar, get it out of the way. And we're gonna plug this nice and securely into that port. Very difficult, guys, especially if you're not used to it. Um, sorry. But once you get it in there, look at it very well, make sure that it's flush, make sure that it's in there as well as possible. Once it is, you can take your metal bar and you can wrap it back around the port. Snap it down. Then we're gonna take our blue sticker Put that nice and securely over it. That was the last one. Then we're gonna separate these two stickers, even though it's a real pain in the butt. Such a horrible design. If you have to hold components in with stickers, multiple stickers, then you're not fastening them well enough together, but whatever. So we'll put down that first one, that clear one, hold it in place, and then this last one over all of it. Again, cannot stress enough what an awful cheap design this is. But that's how you'd plug it back in. Now we would take our LCD, gently flip it back over, lay it down flat, where its screw holes line up. And then again, as long as you're in here guys, to point out if you need to replace your hinge assembly, it would unscrew there, hinge assembly unscrew there. There's your webcam, and there's your antenna wire. The, the black one and the white one. Those are your antenna. So now I can put my screws back in the LCD. Now that the LCD is there, I'm gonna put my bezel back in. Get it lined up. It may be a pain in the butt. You get it lined up, snap it in as much as you can. Those snaps are severe sometimes. You swear you're breaking something, but you're not. You're just getting it back in place. And then you can get your, your screws back in. And now to bring these little black things over, it's not very functional, but it is aesthetic. It helps keep your computer looking good. You can br bring those little sticky black things back over, put them back over your screws. There you go. That's how you would replace your LCD. Thank you so much for watching guys. As mentioned before, please remember to like and share if this does help you out. Subscribe if you enjoy DIY computer tutorials like this. And feel free to check out the FAQs below in the description or leave me a question or comment if you need to. Thank you so much for watching guys. I look forward to seeing you on the next video.